Hi, my name is Devin Thomas, and today we're going to be talking about sequential hermaphrodism in nature. Remember that old David Bowie song lyric, not sure if you're a boy or a girl? Well, this is the question in the case of some species of animals. Now, sequential hermaphrodism is where at some time in their lives, animals can and will change their sex. There are three different types of sequential hermaphroditic sex changes. Number one is protandry. Protandry is where males switch to female. A good example of this are clownfish. Clownfish live in large groups with many small, sexless fish and a breeding pair, a male and a female. If the breeding female is removed from the group, then the breeding male will become the new female, and the largest sexless fish will become the new male. The second type is protogyny. Protogyny is where females switch to male. A good example of this are wrasse, a coral reef fish. Wrasses live in large groups with many small females and males, and a large breeding male. If the breeding male is removed from the group, then the largest, most aggressive female will be switch sexes to become male. The third type is serial bidirectional sex change. This is where animals switch their sex back and forth. If an animal is capable of switching its sex, it usually does so only once in their lives. However, these animals are capable of doing it multiple times. A good example of this are coral gobies. Coral gobies are small and sparse in number, so they switch their sex back and forth due to local reproductive availability. How this occurs is due to changes in the chemical enzyme aromatase, which controls sexual characteristics in animals. As for why this occurs, scientists have a few theories. The most popular one is the size advantage theory, where size correlates with sex. So it would be more advantageous for an animal of a certain size to be a certain sex as opposed to the other. And as an animal grows, it would assume the more advantageous sex. The second theory is the sampling error theory, or to prevent inbreeding and genetic errors from occurring, animals switch their sex. The third theory correlates with the serial bidirectional sex change, where a sexual risk theory is proposed, where it is too dangerous to seek out new breeding mates, so animals remain stationary and switch their sexes back and forth due to local reproductive situations. Now, despite having these theories, scientists do not have a concrete answer as to why this occurs. One thing is for certain, though, it certainly makes nature a little more interesting and the question of boy or girl a little more complicated.